What's up, my pilots? Angry Pacho here, and we're back playing Super Mario Sunshine. That's not right. Why did I say that? Super Mario 64, of course. In this episode, we're gonna kick the Boo World's butt. Kick some Boo butt. Hmm, it's interesting. When you put a word that starts with a B after the word Boo, it sounds like you're just trying to put the word Boob into your sentence. Over here, you. Yes! Let me go into the, the little weird cage level. Creepy as hell. Go on a ghost hunt! Will do. You guys have let me know that with the vanish cap I should be pretty good to go on this level. But at the same time, I should also be aware that there are ghosts and things. Apparently the goal is to kill lots of lots of booze, so let's have at it, shall we? I already got the 8 red coin star, so we're not worried about that. <laughs> yes, we already, we already read the ghosts don't die line. Ghosts don't die. You think you can make it out alive? Oh, my phone rings. As soon as I start... Oh, as soon as I look at the phone... Man, as soon as I start LPing, my phone goes off. As soon as I look at the phone, the game starts kicking my ass. Ghosts don't die. <laughs> Fly, my pretties! Another good Wizard of Oz reference. <laughs> what was it I said that I said was a Wizard of Oz reference when it was actually something else? I, I knew what it really was. I, I said Wizard of Oz because that was the first thing I thought of. And I, I just, I knew it was wrong. And so I, rather than correcting myself, I just continued with the incorrect, oh, dude. Get out of here. Okay, vanish cap. Let's do it. This painting, right? Yeah. Okay, there's another boo in here. Two of them. Get out of my face. Am I going to read the box twice? Yes. Okay, that's... Really weird. Why does that pop up every time I do that? Alright, am I gonna need it back here? Where are we? There's a back door. Lots of coins. Wow. Should I go for the 100 coin star on this go around? I'm picking up a good number of them. This is just the back of the house, right? Yeah, somebody in the comments told me that you could either use the vanish cap or just go around the back of the house. And he also told me about this new slide move, which is pretty neat. I, I fooled around with it for a minute or two before starting recording. It's pretty easy to do. You just run, and then when you crouch, rather than long jumping with A, you hit B, and you do this neat little woo, slide move. And when you hit enemies with your feet, you take damage. Pretty nice. Get back in here. Can I get back through this painting without the finish cap? No. Okay, I guess I'm going to go around. That's probably why they put a second door there, because you know, they don't want you to get stuck in a room that you can't get out of. Do I get anything for smashing up these? Yeah. I don't know if going for the 100 coin star is the best idea right now, but since I don't really know the level that well, but since I'm smashing all these boos and I seem to be getting a coin for each one I... or three coins. Or actually, it's a blue coin, isn't it? So that's five for each one I kill. That's pretty handy. And this ge level seems very generous in handing out coins, so... Gotcha! I like that move a lot. Thank you for telling me about that. I don't, I don't pay too much attention to who tells me what, but I do notice who leaves the most comments and things, and I, I really appreciate your, you guys' help. I should go back and get those red coins that I missed. Actually, no, this is the room that I wanted to get, that I wanted, that I wanted to be in to go get those coins. Okay, grab that one. There's another one on this other staircase, on this other book. Oh, get out of my face. There we go. Oh, 61 already. We're doing all right. I might actually be able to pick up the 100 coin star. Then you guys told me that the way that I got up last time is not the way that you're supposed to get up. You aren't supposed to. Uh, whoa, what? Oh, I missed the first line. Something about Master of Mischief? The Tower of Terror! The Big Boo! Wahaha! <laughs> okay. Oh, very happy sound for a very scary level otherwise. Boink! Thank you very much. Are there coins up here? Yeah, the way I got up last time was just to jump up like this, which is really, actually, relatively easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that coin there. But apparently that's not how you're supposed to do it. I assume there's gonna be something in this main room. Holy crap! Is this... This is a boss? Hello, what? Yes, okay. Who are you? What? You made the same sound as when you hit the thwomp. That's crazy. He's shrinking. That's interesting. This is pretty easy to take this guy out. Jeez. Okay. Cool. How do you get up there? Oh. Stairs up here. I see. I don't actually want to get the star, though. I want to avoid it and get another so many coins. So, let's see. How do you get over to there? 
Oh, dang it. Okay, I guess I fell down the piano room. Oh, there's a red coin behind the piano. What's the piano to move? Yes, come here. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Come on, Jaws. A piano named Jaws. How cool would that be? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna climb up through this other... Wait, that's not it. It's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I want it. There we go. We'll just go up this way. It's not really hard to do. Okay, so what's in here? Then? More coins for me? Oh, shit. Look out. Oh, God. Yeah, apparently you don't get much for this. Okay, so it's the top one, right? Oh, shit. I wasn't trying to hit it, I was just... <laughs> the top one. There we go. And then the bottom one. And then the middle one. And I missed this last time around, but apparently it... Oh, it just moves into the wall, okay. So it's back here. Oh, the hidden star that I got that one time, okay. This isn't... What about... Oh, okay, I see how this works. Well, I'm still missing 25 coins, and there don't seem to be many more in this, in this house. Um, shoot. Okay, well maybe I should... Well damn, if I leave the room, is the star gonna disappear? Or if I leave the house? I don't know, I haven't gone to these rooms yet. Here we go. Get five points from this guy. That's helpful. Hey, you see me, don't you? Okay, I guess I have to go this way. I see, you have to run in a certain direction, because that's the way they turn. Okay. Five points from you. Thank you very much. What is this? Coffins! Oh, crap. And another red coin. Neat. Oh, I can't get the red coin star and the... Kill the booze star at the same time, so... Is there a way something I can do with these? Maybe the ones that go up, I can... Damage? No? I guess they're just obstacles. Oh. There doesn't seem to be anything underneath where this one goes up, so... 84 coins. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. There's one more door to go through up here, right? Yeah, over here. What the heck's in here? It's like a staged area up here. A raised platform. And... Oh, more books! Awesome. I love those books. They give you lots of coins. <laughs> 94. Oh, crap! Oh, I see a hole in the floor now. Oh, wow, I got the eight red coins. I didn't even mean to. Okay, give me one more book, come on. I, need to, I just need one more book, and I can get those other five coins. Ah, uh, alright, um... A vanish cap. Where could I go with the vanish cap inside the house? I'm not sure. Just check walls and things, I guess. I'm gonna use my intuition here. Through this, through the window, maybe? No. Hello. Falling into the- oh, oh! 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 That's why this water pit is here! I see. Well, dang! Okay, I get it now. That's why this other part of the thing is here. If you fall in this pit, you end up in this part of the- Alright. And I guess that those- Those are for a, a later star. Okay, well, wow, I've made a bunch of stars appear. And I suppose that that, that would mean that- Exiting the house would not make the star inside the house disappear, since they're apparently rendered in the same area. So, I guess so. I hope so. At least. I just need to find another four coins. Oh, just four more coins. That's all, just four more coins. I feel like I've been pretty efficient about killing enemies and things like that. I don't feel like I've missed anything big. I hope not, at least. Ah, look at you! You're gonna finish the star for me. Come here. Oh, wrong direction. Sorry. Yes. No, he's turning this direction. Okay. There we go. You gotta get him to see you and then run the direction they're turning. Okay. That's easy enough. Give me my star! So I'm wondering now, should I get the red coin star? Or should I pick up the... the Boo Hunt star? <laughs> so like, which one, is, which one is gonna be harder to do again? I feel like the Boo Hunt was pretty easy. The eight red coins took more time. So maybe I should pick up the... the eight red coin star instead of... Boo star. I think I am gonna do that actually. Here we go. That works for me. Whee! Why did I launch out of a fountain? I like the long delay there before the devil thing goes again. All right, where where are you, Boo? Oh, no, not quite. Yeah, you see, you gotta face away from him to do this sort of like a backwards jump. I found this is really useful. Bam, just like that. Back inside we go! 
go on a ghost hunt. Okay, I see. I've already done three and four. I've only done the first and second stars. Okay, let's actually do the ghost hunt this time around. Or we did it last time, and it wasn't that bad. We're just gonna do it again, so we can pick up that star that it drops. Gotcha. Yes, ghosts don't die. <laughs> yes, I know. I understand now the error in my thinking. I wish I didn't, didn't have to say that every time you killed one, but I guess it's a good thing because in any case that's what you're supposed to do. You get a reaction out of the game, rather than just killing them and having to drop a coin and then nothing coming of it. It's a little bit more clear. You know what's supposed to be happening. Come on now. Gotcha! So I know, last time I missed the dialogue for when, you, when I killed the last one, so I'll be careful to watch for that this time around. There's one more in this corner over here, right? Or do we not? Oh no, no, it's behind, behind this vanish cap wall. Right. My on, get this good hat, please. Thank you. Is it the same music as the wing cap? I think it is. Here are you two. Double kill! Ghosts don't die! <laughs> okay, and in the final text box. Boom! Here comes the master of mischief! The tower of terror, the big boo! Now he sounds a little bit like the Joker. Doesn't he? <laughs> Sort of. Whatever. Oh, this isn't the right room. I'll be out here. Got the vanish cap. You can't touch me. <laughs> Actually, I can't touch him either because he's a ghost, but whatever. Oh! Why does he make the same sound as a thwomp? He just sounds so dumb. <laughs> he shouldn't make that sound. <laughs> it's like, <"Urgh." laughs> Really easy boss fight, too. I like how some of the level, a lot of the levels start with those sort of things. Well, you think about it, the first one we fought the big Bubum King, and then we fought Thwomp on top of a fortress, and now we fought Big Boo. How did the third level start? With a penguin race. No boss there. Or not with a penguin race, but with the actual sliding, going to the slide, that's all. Awesome. Alright, that's enough of the boos for me for now. <laughs> I'm getting the boo blues. You guys have been saying you want to see more of the basement, so let's head down to those, those vaults again. Maybe I can go for another star in world... Have I found world 7? I don't know. Maybe I should try and get the metal cap. How about that? Yeah, let's see if I can get the metal cap. So it's... Where's that world? Um, it's not the one that's behind the secret wall. That's, that's the... That's the sand world, isn't it? That's world 8. And this world 6 is the fiery one there. So the one I'm thinking of must be back here in this... Yeah, it's in the, it's in the pit. Right, okay, I remember now. Alright. What's, what's, what star is this? Elevate for 8 red coins. Okay, so just be on the lookout for 8 red coins as we go through the mission. I guess I could go for the 100 coin star at the same time. Yes, yeah, so the metal cap is definitely important here, because there's a metal cap uh, block right at the beginning of the level. So let's see. There's a star up there. Okay. Come here, you. Don't throw your coins off the edge! Oh, dude, a jerk. What's down there still? I can hear it. Can I get to it? No, it's... Hmm... I think I would die if I went and tried to get it. Whatever, let's see. Oh! Wow, that was nice. That was pretty good, actually. I didn't think I was going to be able to pull that off. Get up there. So now I just need to avoid these big boulders. Oh, hey, look, more coins right there. That's handy. I didn't see those last time around. Neato. So I guess I'm headed down to the lake area, because you guys told me that that's where the metal metal cap switch is. It's down there past the lake. Not sure where exactly, but I suppose we'll find out. I really dig this music. Every time I get there, every time I get to this part, I want to I stop and just listen to it. Can't really see. Yeah, okay, another metal cap thing, of course. Alright, let's just head on down there and see if we can't figure this out. The only star we've gotten from this world so far is the one you get from climbing on Tessie's back, so... <laughs> it does remind me of Tessie from Earthbound. Okay, so I, I, I realized this when I was editing the video. It's so obvious. You need the metal cap to push this switch. That's why you can't just swim into it. Dude. Okay, so I need the vanish cap to get behind there. What does this say? You can use A. Okay. Underground lake. Right. Metal cave. Left. Abandoned mine. I suppose I want to go... Pound on his back to make him lower his head. Don't become his lunch. Oh wow, they actually tell you how to do that. We'll see if six-year-old me had been reading the signs like he was supposed to. Alright, where's... Where are you, Tessie? Come here, boy. 
I feel like Pesty would be a female name. Whatever. So you guys told me that he goes where you're looking? I did not realize that when I was doing that. Oh, dude, Mario. Get up there. I didn't realize that when I was doing it the first time. It was just luck that I happened to steer him the right way. But I'll make a point of it this time around, so... Alright, uh... Sorry, Tessie! I don't have any choice! Wait, I wanna go this way, yeah. Whoop! Thank you. The double metal doors. Okay. The metal cave. Can't see. This was a long jump, long jump around the corner, and it was like, mm, maybe not. Anything going on here? Just the cave. Just a hole in the ground, huh? Okay. Oh! Welcome to the Metal Cap Switch course. Once you step on the Cap Switch, the green box will become solid. Turn your body into metal with a metal cap, you can walk underwater. Awesome, it's not even very it's not even slowed down by it. Get my get out of my face. Oh, my coin started over, it doesn't matter if I pick him up now. Alright, what's this say? Come on now. Read it, damn it. Mario! Right, to waterfall. Left, metal cap switch. Well, I wanna go left. I see it makes you pretty pretty much invincible too. That's nice. Are these is, are these different? Uh, this is a whole other set of eight red coins, isn't it? Did I miss any back there? I don't think so. Whatever, I guess I'll look around. Oh, there's a whole bunch of coins in here too. Hoopah. Hoopa! Alright, look at this. You set the metal cap switch. The metal metal cap makes Mario invincible! Now the pop out all the green blocks you find. I would like to save. Thank you. Three. And there's four is right here. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? There's a platform here, wasn't there? Dang it, I missed. Oh, I missed! <laughs> That's just a joke so easy to make. I can see why it became a meme so quickly. Turn around, Mario. Oh, the camera. Goodness. Oh, goodness. I fell in the water. Darn it. Oh, gosh darn it. Come here, you. Alright, let's do this. Ah, I see you can walk upstream, too. That's pretty handy. I dig the remix, too. The music is pretty neat when you have the metal cap on. Oh, I see the star appears right there. Alright. Seven... Eight! I'm not gonna be able to get to it, because I'm gonna lose the cap in too, too soon. Oh, no! No! Swim, Mario! Swim like you mean it! Okay, so do I want to go for 100, red, 100 yellow coins in this area, or is this metal cap zone not going to... I'm just gonna get the, the star that's already appeared, and then not bugger around. The video's getting a little long. Get over there, Mario! As soon as you hit the water, you lose a little bit of traction, but once you're on the ground, you can walk right up to where you want to go. Neat! We got all three caps now! That's pretty awesome! We pretty much have full full run of the castle, I suppose. Upsies and downsies. I guess we, we've unlocked the top floor and the basement, but we've hardly we've hardly explored the basement at all. Uh, I guess we're in the basement worlds now, though, aren't we? So what is it? The first four are in the beginning of the castle, and then the next four are in the basement, and then I, are the third, the next four after that, like tw uh, what? What would that be? Eight through nine, nine through twelve. Are they on the top part of the castle? Then where, where would the last four be? Thir 13 through 16. Like secret worlds hidden? Or just higher up the tower? Outside? I don't know. That's weird. I don't, I've never gotten that far in the games. I, I, only, I can only predict what it would be. Let's see. Uh, so how, how, is, how, do, how many... Is that, does that metal cap course not count as a secret star? Yeah, we have 10 of those. There's only 15 of them, right? Isn't that what you guys told me? Okay, so let's look at where we are. That one's done. That one's done. Jolly Roger Bay, we need the metal cap. Oh, okay, I guess we'll do that next. Uh, cool Cool Mountain's done. Big Boo's Haunt, we're, we're working on it. Hazy Maze Cave, have we not gone into World... Oh, I guess that Ice World is... Uh, that Fire World is World 7. Okay, that makes sense, because in the 8 World is the Shifting Sand Land. Dire Dire Docks was the one I thought was a Bowser level. And that's as far as we've gotten. We haven't gone to 10, 11, or 12 yet, even though they're supposedly unlocked up there. We're probably not going to go into one of those... Uh, well, we might. I don't know. I'm a six-year-old, I don't care, I'll do whatever I want. We continue to leave comments for the worlds that I, I have gone into, though, because they're the, or the ones that, like the stars I haven't picked up. Like the ones from World 8 and World 7 that I haven't gotten. Uh, or World 6, especially, because I, I, I don't know World 6 very well. And I've seen, I've seen a couple stars in that land that I haven't figured out how to get to yet. If I could get a hint on that, that would be great. But uh, other than that, we pretty much figured things out. We already got the 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we got the 100 coin star for the first five worlds, so that's pretty good. That one seems like one that could be a problem. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Super Mario 64. Yeah.